that we are gathered here today at an extraordinary moment in our nation's history, a time when foreign actors seek to disrupt our political system and even free elections, which serve as the basic foundation of our government. When the president openly interferes with an investigation to uncover his ties with these same foreign actors. When the leader of the free world fires those who hold him accountable and even provides intelligence to our adversaries. Our founders established a system of checks and balances to safeguard the integrity of our democracy. But the truth is those checks and balances are only as strong as the leaders who have the character and courage to implement them. And right now, too many in one party are putting their party over our country. It turns out that the founders' prediction that each generation would have to renew our democracy is true. And so the extraordinary threats, threats facing our country, foreign and domestic, dem demand a fierce and unrelenting opposition. Citizenship confers responsibility, the responsibility to get and stay involved, to educate ourselves and each other, to speak out, and to resist when our Constitution and our democratic norms are threatened. In short, the resistance is about defending our democracy. So resist we must, but we also need to build. We need to look past the cable news cycles and forth, set forth real solutions to the problems confronting families everywhere. At CAP, we're convinced that these values are values that Americans are, share. They, they are ones that pull us together rather than pull us apart. That's because at the end of the day, we all want the same basic things to earn a decent living, to support and raise our kids, and to leave our families a little farther along than where we started. So today, we're pr proud to introduce a bold new plan for creating jobs in America, one based on an idea of the New Deal, but modernized for our 21st century world. We'll talk a little bit more about that in our economics panel later today. But the focus is really in ensuring jobs for all Americans, particularly those who've left behind, those who have not gone to college. In everything we do today, we do want to reaffirm a simple truth. That as the party of opposition, we must demand economic opportunity for the struggling without giving one single inch on civil rights. That means fighting voter suppression in courtrooms and polling stations across the nation, protecting immigrants, Muslims, the disabled, and all who have felt the shameful ire of Donald Trump. In fact, we believe we have the chance to forge a new progressive coalition, a coalition once envisioned by Bobby Kennedy, one that unites working families of every color and background by advancing fairness and economic opportunity for all. That coalition must be broad enough to welcome each and every one of our fellow Americans. It needs to be based on the principles of equality and inclusion, on opportunity and justice. These are essential values which lie at the heart of the progressive movement, and they're the same values that drive the work of all the leaders gathered here today. And that brings me to our opening keynote speaker, Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti. As the head of America's second largest city, he spearheaded efforts to raise LA's minimum wage expand housing for veterans, and make major investments in transportation and clean energy. Mayor Garcetti has also stood as a fierce opponent against Donald Trump's cruel plans to tear apart families through his deportation force. And I know he'll continue to champion progressive causes for many years to come. So we're honored to have Mayor Garcetti kick off our conference. Please help me give a warm welcome to Mayor of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti.